A salute to veterans reminds us of the sacrifices made by a sailor and his kids. News 13's John Lee tells us about the military family with a trail of tears. On Veterans Day weekend, there's nothing surprising about a hero's welcome. Thanks for serving the country. But what may strike you on a day like this USA! is that some children are so in tune with the sacrifices of war. They're keeping our country safe. Kids just like Cabe. And giving us freedom. Cabe is only reminded of the dad he's missing, James Ellis, a first-class petty officer, a father of four. While he's stationed in Afghanistan, his family soldiers on here at home. Little kids and Andrews saluted the men who fought for our flag while time with their families lapsed by. Everybody appreciates what you've done. Eventually, they hear from Ellis's kids. When dad is gone, I feel very sad. I'm so proud of him. He is my hero right next to Jesus. The words any father would love to hear, especially after his fifth deployment. One point draws Cave's attention. Now it's sinking in. heard one word. They did not let go for 25 seconds, and that was just their first hug, embracing as if it were their last. James's wife might still be crying. It might take a couple days. It's the greatest feeling ever. I'll come see you. Here at Andrews High, he used to be a football hero. Welcome back. Thanks. But hero means something very different to him now. I will never, ever, ever forget this. In the middle of the pep rally, that brings America's team together. I mean, it's the greatest honor in, in, of my life to serve my country. 